Uh, today I'm going to be going over how to use uh, air crack for Wi-Fi cracking. Um, so I have some things set up here to help me. Um, I'm using the Alpha chipset um, wireless card adapter and then I'm also using a Linksys uh, router. I can put the links to these uh, devices in the um, in the title uh, area, in the notes area, um, so you can look at them on your own. Um, so the first thing you want to do after you plug in uh, your wireless card is you want to make sure that Kali can see it. So you use this command here, airmod-ng, which will tell you what interface it's showing up as, what driver it is, and the chipset information. So uh, usually what I like to do is I like to tell it to kill any of the processes running right now before we actually turn it on uh, just to make sure uh, it doesn't interfere later on when you're trying to crack the passwords or grab uh, uh, WPA um, like handshakes so you type in that command <clears throat> and what it ends up doing is it kills uh, these following pri processes um, so next what we want to do is we want to do a, um, we want to tell it to actually go into promiscuous mode so you tell it the Airmon NG start, and then you want to use the interface that it comes up as. And hit enter. Give it a second or two. And as you can see, it's now um, in monitor mode, or also known as promiscuous mode. Um, and it's coming up as, I don't see, WLAN zero mon now is what the interface will be. So next what we want to do is we want to start actually um, gathering any of the packets that are floating around and hope to get an actual um, handshake. So what we want to do is we want to type in the airmon, I'm sorry, air o dump dash ng and then the interface which is right here uh, is running as all right, we let it go for a little bit. It's gonna start picking up everything around. Um, right here is the one that we're going for the Linksys. So usually what I like to do is once it's where I want it to be and it has the information shown, I hit Control C, which will stop it. And then I usually like to have another terminal open. Um, but before we do that, let me just put this underneath here so we can see a little bit better. There is going to be our target. So this is going to be the SID, which is the actual MAC address. The, um, the power, so the closer it is, the lower this number will be. So this device right here is pretty far away. It's dash 82 for the power. This is dash 22 for right there. So uh, it's going to tell us what encryption it's using, WPA2. Um, and the channel is the other important thing, the channel six. So what I like to do is I will highlight and copy the information that I want. Um, let me zoom this in just a little bit. Hopefully everyone can see. All right, so now that we have that and we know it's channel six, and like I said, you can always pull this down a little bit if you need to so you can reference it again. Uh, what you want to type in now is um, arrow dump and g still dash dash b s s i d and put in that SID number you just got channel this is the dash c the channel is six um, Apologize for that. I actually, I think I caught a cold, so I'm sneezy, and I didn't want to sneeze with the with this being on. Um, and dash W, which really stands for where you want it to write. And uh, I have a little folder on my desktop called Wi-Fi. That's usually where I put it at. So I type in root desktop Wi-Fi, and then I'm just going to name it as an uh, YouTube. I can spell it right, YouTube, um, and we'll just leave it that, 
um, and uh, I'm sorry, and then uh, whatever the interface is. So this is what it, the breakdown is again. Arrow.ng dash dash bssid, which you just put this in afterwards. Dash c for channel. Put in the channel six, and dash w or think of right uh, to this location. And what it's going to do is it's going to write the uh, cat file there. So when I hit enter, it's going to go for a little while. Um, and uh, hopefully it will pick up what it's supposed to be picking up. Oh, right there it did. See how this thing came up? It's a WPA handshake and then a number. Uh, this is the actual handshake with has the password in it for the for the router so if I hit control C it's gonna stop everything um, but I want to show you something here let's say for some reason you just cannot get this handshake you sit there you sit there it keeps going it keeps going it keeps going there's some commands that you can run to grab that so the commands for that is what's called air. Um, I'm sorry, air air replay. So air replay. Oops, sorry, it's been a long morning already. Air replay. Um, you want to do dash zero, which tells us to do deauthentication. Now the second one is how often you want these deauthentication packets sent. If you put a zero there, it's going to go in for infinite. If you put five there, it's just going to run five of them. Okay. Uh, then dash A. So what A is, think of the access point. The access point is going to be this SID right here. Okay. So that is the access point where everything is running. Dash C is your client. So it's the device that is actually connected um, to that router, which, as you can see, right here is one. Right here would be all your clients that are connected. So you want to copy that. You want to paste that in there for client. And then of course you always have to put in what interface. So hopefully everyone can see that. Okay, so again, breakdown, error replay, dash zero stands for deauthentication. Uh, there's other ones you can use, um, like you can send ARP packets, all kinds of other things to it. Uh, but dash zero will, will allow you to get this handshake faster. Uh, five is the number of times I want it to send the authentication ta uh, packets. So it's going to send five of them. Um, dash A is the actual router. Dash C is the device that's connected to the router and then the interface. So when you hit enter, oh, I'm sorry, I did not do that right, apparently. That has to be it. Okay. Uh, let me just double check. I thought it was error replay, but it's error, error. Uh, Alright, let me just double check. I could have sworn it was error replay. It's been a while since I've done this, so I apologize. Oh, this is silly. Uh, it is correct, but I just forgot to put an NG at the end. So, <clears throat> that was my... Stump moment. So as you can see, it will send five deauthentication packets. Um, and usually you will have this thing running at the same time. And as you're running it, you may see the handshake. So what it's doing is it's, it's, it's kicking this device that's connected to the router off. And it's making it resend a handshake to be authorized to be back on. And you try to just capture it basically going through the through the air. So, um, and then I'm going to show you here. If you change this five, let's say, see how I did it five times right here? So let's change this to a ten. Now it's going to do it for 10 times. And then, so let's do it now for a zero. And what you'll see is it will just continuously go until you do like a control C. So it's just going to keep going, keep going. And it gets acknowledgement packets back here. And then keep going, keep going, keep going, et cetera, et cetera. And then boom, I stopped it with the control C. So, we will clear all this. So we have our handshake. Uh, it's in this folder right here. So now there's only one thing left to do. 
and that is to crack it. So, when we go to crack, what we need to do is we need to type in the air crack ng, which everyone knows by the name air crack. This is the actual command for cracking now. Um, and then I have a password list. which for some reason I have it very, very far away. Um, and then wherever you put the cat file. So the cat file, remember earlier when we um, did this command to get it, we put the cat file at a certain location, which I did underneath um, the Wi-Fi folder. And then this one, YouTube. And you gotta make sure the cat's on there. And then hit enter. And I had a really weak password on there, so it would crack fast, but that was really, really fast. Usually, what it will do is it, you'll see this thing running for a while the master key, the transient key, etc., etc. It'll show you which passwords it's fine or tempting, uh, how many keys it actually went through. So I have um, like 7 million keys to try, which is a dictionary. Uh, uh, dictionary attack. So there's, I have seven million some odd potential passwords on this dictionary. The fourth one was the one that, that caught it open. So anyway, so now if I put uh, password, if I go to like the Wi-Fi and I tell it to go, I type in like the Linksys, which is the SID, and then type in password, I'll actually be on that network now. So that is how you use AirCrack to uh, crack passwords. And always remember that you need to have authorization in order to do this to somebody. This is very, very, very illegal to get onto a system without permission um, or to test the system even without permission. It's not legal at all. You can go to jail. So I hope this was helpful uh, for class, and I will see you another time. Thank you for watching.